what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel hope everybody is having a blessed monday and i hope y'all all had a great weekend today we're going to go over the best cards to flip for millions and millions of stubs hit that red subscribe button drop a like on the video make sure your notifications is on we only 50 subscribers away from 8,000. so it's free and then we're gonna do another giveaway might be a 50 dollar visa gift card you never know just make sure you stay tuned to this channel let's get into today's banger ahmlb is having a crazy sale 20 percent off plus if you use cold fat another five percent and finish collection all right so the first thing we're gonna go over is who i think has the most potential to get that plus one in the roster update in the next four days the roster update is this friday then we're going to go over the best cards to flip right now and the best cards to buy why they are cheap and hold them until the day before the roster update when you want to sell at the max now a lot of cards on the market is already very very high in price so if you don't think that is certain cards that's going to get that plus one if you are on the edge about what cards might go diamond and you have invested in four to six different cards take two of them cards that you have at least 10 of them and i would cash out right now now the cards that i feel like has a lot and a better chance at going diamond on this next roster update is marcus Simeon and jared walsh i think them are the two guaranteed cards to go up as far as hitters now as far as pitchers zach wheeler is the lock so that's going to be the three main cards that i think has the best potential to go up now they might do five upgrades the way that marcus simeon and jerry walsh has been playing in the past week and then the way that zach wheeler has been consistent all year as you can see the prices show you right here he is over the diamond quick sale already so a lot of people have invested into him as a chance to go diamond but there's not too much wiggle room now this jared walsh i have about 20 to 25 of them you have a lot of room in between this card while you are watching the video that you can still make a 12 to 1300 profit no matter what by thursday he will be up 44 to 45 or 4600 stubs so if you get them right now for 3253 3255 you will still be making 11 to 1200 stubs on every single jared wash so if you can get 20 to 25 of them if you have that much stubs to invest in them you can make a very big return in the next two or three days two cards that i think is going to get the big upgrade is marcus simeon he has 18 home runs but Jared Walsh, he also has 18 home runs this season, but he's been playing more consistent over the past week. Jared Walsh's numbers, 18 home runs on the season. He went three for four with a home run just yesterday. Now, in the past three games, he has three home runs. So what does that tell you? He needs about a plus five or plus six on any stats, no matter how you look at it. And that's going to put him up with these hitting stats that he's had over the past week. 18 home runs over the season, three for four yesterday with a home run. In the past three games, he's had a home run in each game and five RBIs. If you haven't invested into him, go do it right now. Guaranteed 12 to 1500 profit right now. Simeon has 18 home runs on the season, but he went 0 for 6 yesterday. And on the 19th, he hit two for four, I think it is, but he had two home runs. Jared Walsh, I think, has the better chance to go right away. Marcus Simeon, he can go right away, but if he doesn't, you can still make a lot of profit off of him if you already been investing in him. It's a chance that could tell Marte might go diamond. He has been consistent recently, but throughout the season, he only has five home runs, so that's not gonna give him too big of a power boost. The only thing he can get is a contact boost to the right hand side but he's better against left-handed batters so unless he shows more consistency against right-handed pitchers i don't know for sure if he has a chance to go up carlos correa is another big card you can see people are expecting him with his matchup he is playing up to an 86 overall 42 51 if he does go diamond you have a little bit of room in between to make 300 to 500 stubs on every single one of these if you invested in them i think jared wash still has the better chance even though carlos correa has been playing lights out with 14 home runs on the season i think jared wash is the cheaper version that you can get right now 
or if you have been getting them, I got about 20 to 25 of them. You can still get yourself another 10 real quick. And in the next two to four days, you can see yourself doubling in profit. This Anthony, and I don't even know how to pronounce his last name the correct way, is a card that you need to invest in. If he gets a plus two on this next roster update, he's guaranteed to go gold for only 178 stubs. The gold quick sale is a thousand. So you're gonna be making 750 to 800 stubs on this card every single time. And there's nothing really that's gonna slow him down. He has been balling out. He's leading the league. Well, actually he's tied in the league with shutouts, with two, with the most completed games, with two, tied with another investment which is Mania in the last game he had five strikeouts he's only given up eight home runs this whole season another investment is this Sean Manet 189 stubs go here put them in 191 and get you a few of these He's a 76 with his matchup playing up to an 81 overall. The way that he's been playing, he will get the bump eventually and get that goal and you will be making 750 to 900 stubs. He's tied in the league with shutouts with two, just like the last card. Against the Yankees the other day, he had 11 strikeouts and five innings played. And he's only gave up eight home runs all season, just like the other guy, but they pitch way more innings. There's a lot of the big people like the Kimbrels that come in for one to three innings, but this guy usually does five and a half to seven innings most of the games, and he's only given up eight home runs all season. Get yourself 15, 25 of these, just put them off to the side, and you will see yourself being able to cash out with the rest of the investments. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. It's free. Don't be a hater your whole life. And if y'all rocking with me, I got y'all. Start investing.